Today we're going to have a craft beer slash German slash Italian slash Kiwi foodie experience at Dodson Street. Today is going to be a pretty quiet day for us in Blenheim, the sun is out, so we are heading for a beer garden. Valbra is known for its wine, but if you do have more of a taste for beer, then this is the place to come, Dodson Street in Blenheim. First up, the place is absolutely gigantic, and second, the owner, Dietmar, is so welcoming. It's absolutely amazing to have an owner walking you through his entire establishment as soon as you walk in. He is in love with what he's doing. He's taking the time to show us every type of beer that they are serving here. They actually change them super regularly, that's why they are all stickers. And you always get a different experience when you come here. There is also a massive outdoor garden where people come to relax after a hard day of work or just instead of a hard day of work. But before getting serious, we need a coffee. Oh my god, that is the fluffiest hot chocolate I've seen. After coffee, it doesn't take us long to go straight on to lunch because when you are on a backpacker budget like Robin and I, you kind of have the same food all the time. So we are super stoked to be trying some new and different food here at the Dodson Street Beer Garden. Because these guys do a whole range of food, they do like German, Italian and New Zealand food, we're having a little bit of uh, Italian and classic Kiwi fish and chips. Speaking of food, a question that you guys are often asking us is what is typical New Zealand food? Well, aside from the traditional Maori hangi or the pavlova, which is a meringue dessert invented in New Zealand, New Zealand sort of does the best of everything because there's so many different cultures that have immigrated to New Zealand. So for example, the fish and chips, it's not exactly a traditional New Zealand meal, but it's something that they do extremely well because this is a fisherman's nation. And now that we have full bellies, we are okay to drink. So we are heading to the bar, grabbing ourselves a tasting tray and heading back to the garden. So I guess in chess, you have to think a few steps ahead. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Put that deal. So while Laura is slowly learning to play chess, we are trying a selection of beer because Dietmar told us that Dutton Street has one of the widest selection of beer in the entire country. That's basically his claim of fame. On our tasting tray today, we are trying a wealth of different stuff. We are trying a porter beer, we are trying a sour beer, we are trying a Czech Pilsner, we are trying a berry cider, God knows why, and we are trying a German wheat beer. But after that, we are grabbing ourselves a massive handle of beer and heading back inside because the team from the local brewery here in Blenheim called Renaissance is about to have lunch and they have invited us to join them, which is really cool. It's something that Kiwi do best, getting yourself integrated with the crowd. And because we are in a bar, we are trying ourselves some more beer. There is heaps of beer selection and it's really cool the old decoration on the place because they kept one coaster of every beer that they have served in here. It's really fun and it shows how many beer they have had here. Another reason this place looks so good is the fact that it's a heritage building. It's actually the oldest commercial building in Blenheim, which used to hold an ice cream factory, a malt house and two wineries before it became a beer garden, which it has been for around six or seven years now. So we're getting ourselves some more huge German style beer handles and joining the guys from the brewery next door for lunch. But because we've already had lunch, we are having yet more food, this time in the form of some delicious dessert. We're having brownies and mixed nut cake with ice cream. And one of the cool thing about having lunch with the locals is that they're here to give us heaps of tips about the area. Because we already told them that we've done enough of the wine country of Blenheim. We've done two tours about the wine country in Blenheim already. We told them that we wanted to look for something a little bit different. So they tell us about Peter Jackson. Yes, the guy from the Lord of the Rings. He stores all his plane right here in Blenheim. And we're checking it out tomorrow. I believe I can touch the sky. So we had a few beers. <laughs> now we're singing. Ah, should do that more often. <laughs> 
So, that actually marks the end of our foodie experience here in Blenheim because tomorrow we're going to do something slightly different in the Marlborough town. We're going to be going to the Aviation Heritage Center, which means we're going to be seeing some vintage planes and yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love those vintage planes. See you tomorrow.